Uh, there was a flaming fist, a mountain, an arcane signet, slow bat, a soul ring, and two more lands. So I would have had a very strong opening. Why? Just keep it. Nope. I mean, we know what's in your hand, but... Nope. <sighs> so, so in my favorite, I would have kept um, it. So just oh, so you know what kind of person I am, I would have kept it. I, so. yeah. like any other time, I probably would have kept that too, but this is the brand new deck, and I'm not trying to start off too strong. <laughs> Amara, you haven't gone live yet, right? I have, yes. You have? Okay, let me refresh my... Are we doing two games? Tweet! We'll probably just do the one. Okay. Depending on how fast we kill each other. <laughs> well, yeah, if it's super usual, fast, and I've game. got lots of energy, I'm for that, too. Yeah. Ron! What's up? Just a few more days. I know. So excited. <laughs> Robert, I'm so sorry. I, I have the worst FOMO right now. But that's okay. I know I'm going to command a sealed for sure. Yes. Oh, cool. Well, I might see you there. I'm, 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 I'm still tossing the idea around of going. To uh, it's in exhausting. September. September's a hard time to travel for me. I get it, but it's, it's, it's a quite an experience from what I hear for sure. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Amara, you look so cute. Man, I can't. Oh, I love I it. Are we, are, are we on the light on the? screen right now are, yes yep. omar you do look so cute right <laughs> Why do I not see? i definitely followed there we go <laughs> what the frick am i playing everybody <laughs> this hand has no lands in it <laughs> you have a couple new decks i oh. do my most my newest are um Captains who say Celestia, which is uh, Super Friends, um, but it's mostly all the Ajani's except for the red one, obviously, and um, two Garricks. So there's 14 Planeswalkers in it. Um, so there's that one, and it is fun. And then there's um, I haven't played against a Super Friends deck in a while. The Isu. Um, Isu the Abominable, which is a snow deck, and it's Voltron. And then, uh, Kemba Ka Regent, which is, uh, cat tokens, basically, and equipments. Oh. Very nice. I like those, too. And it's also a little Voltron, because it- So it's token generation for every equipment attached to Kemba, so... It makes Kemba a Voltron commander, but it also generates lots of other smaller creatures. That's what my uh, S Y R and Rograk is. It's just my heart. My heart doesn't feel that tonight. I think I'm either gonna go really low end and mer and merfolk themed because it's hilarious anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's probably like a precon and it just um, just wants to do unblockable merfolk and draw lots of cards and ping people. Uh, if, they uh, if they lose life, I get to draw right, uh, <laughs> and I might win. Uh, but a board wipe severely knocks me back. Uh, but that's okay. It's fun. Or I have my trample-themed uh, deck with Nylia, and it's it's got the typical green stuff. I, f I call it my boring green good stuff, because it's usually just what the green stuff wants to do with the big creatures, get the mana ramp, and yes, there's a crater hoof in there, and, you know, just see what comes out. A little bit of draw. It's, uh, it's not too exciting, but I just, I don't feel like thinking anymore after the last game. <laughs> That's yeah, you know, sure, I feel that. Us. <laughs> Indeed. You know what? I think that's where we'll go. Okay. I've seen how Danny plays. <laughs> but this is a brand new deck. But it's still seen how Danny plays. <laughs> it's, it's always a uh, kill Danny first because Danny's a sleeper for a long time, and then you're like, Ron, you're like, uh, that. it's true. It's the truth. <laughs> So everybody's like, oh, I won't hit Danny because he's not doing anything. And Danny's like, yes, right where I want you. Slowly. You know? like, <laughs> And then it's like, pop -pow! There's always like one draw. That, yeah, there's always one, one turn that like really is just end move for Danny. And it's like, damn it. I should have got you when I had the chance. But, you know, people want to be the good guys. They want to be the heroes. And they're like, ah, eh, Danny's a, you know, a poor little Danny. He's had bad card draw all night. And he's like, yes, fall into my trap. 
See, I think Danny, I killed Danny. Danny's like the expert in the woods that like, uh, like no, you keep... don't kill me. You get other people to kill me. Yeah. Danny has dug the hole in the woods and covered it expertly with leaves, and nobody notices, and they just fall right into it. You know, draws what he needs to win in his top deck mode from turn one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do a little intro here, and then I'll let everybody introduce themselves and all that fun stuff. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'll do Captain Sisay if uh if y'all are into the Super Friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, I what a Voltron. Doesn't okay. matter. I haven't Super Friends. Okay. Been Super Friends in a while. Who has Super Friends deck in the process in the, in in the works? It's it's already built. So, but I'm like, I'm sliding in more and more Planeswalkers, because that's what I want the deck to do. It's Sliding it's, uh, it's, in? Yeah, sliding into the Planeswalkers DMs, you know me. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, um, no, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I am Ash, not the uncaring today. I don't really give any fucks what's going on. <laughs> I'm just here to play a game, get destroyed, probably. Um... I have some wonderful guests with me here today. I am going to be playing my Ash Not Day Uncaring deck, because I'm themed today, apparently. Um, this deck is an aristocrat-style deck. It does all sorts of sacrifice shenanigans. I want to get double triggers off of everything. It does a lot of gross stuff. <laughs> and now I'm going to let uh, Danny, I'll let you introduce yourself. Do all that fun stuff. Ooh, look at that. Hi, everybody. Uh, so I'm Danny. Uh, my buddy and I have a podcast. We talk about magic and stuff. Um, <laughs> Danny is a murder enthusiast. I am a murder enthusiast. The only thing I like doing mur more than murdering is drawing cards. <laughs> I believe that. Um, tonight I'm playing a brand new deck, uh, making its main voyage right here on Ganatha Blunder. On sorry, on Ashna the Uncaring stream. Yes. It yeah, is. <laughs> it is uh, Bruce Taro. You can see little Bruce Tarl and Silas Wren. Look at these little guys. Those are wonderful. I'm thinking. <laughs> <It works. laughs> uh, so I just want to uh, cast my artifacts from the graveyard. That's it. Uh, we'll, this is the maiden voyage. I don't know how it's going to do. Um, the uh, My first hand had a soul ring and an arcane signet in it. And I decided not to keep it. <laughs> Uh, so this hand is mostly lands, and we'll see how it goes. Exciting. I'm sure it'll probably be horrible. <laughs> knowing you, Danny, knowing you, it'll probably <laughs> just be gross. Fingers crossed. Ah, <laughs> uh, and then we have the Dread Warlock, Robert. Ah, uh, hello, Amara. Hello, oh, yeah. Amara. Hey, God, no! You did it last time! Robert, look, okay, we're gonna share the intro again. No, you always do it. on the last show that we played tonight, mm. okay? So you can just wait, okay? Uh, Hi, everybody. I'm Doug the Demon, and this is the Dread Warlock Robert and Amara again. Thank you for having us in your battle thank arena, you. especially with all these really great planeswalkers. Yes, we have Ron and Danny we're excited to play against. Yes, ha ha ha. So anyway, uh, as you know, we're from the Emporium of Curiosity, and you can follow us on the YourTubes. Uh, and yeah, we have a goal of hitting 300 subscribers. Yeah, so please help us out there. Please, and follow yes. the links below that, that Robert's going to put down. I already did. Because yes, that's Robert's job. Uh, it's no, his whole job. It's not. Links. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and once you click those links, you can follow us here on Twitch, and I'll leave Robert here to talk about uh, what deck we're playing. Oh, Everyone, so kind of you. Have a great night, and a good day. Ah, uh, uh, we will. Thank you, Duck. Okay, so tonight, we are playing Nylia, Guard of the Hunt, our trample-themed deck. Yeah, um, it's pretty simple green stuff. We just want to get big creatures out and swing and give them trample. Maybe a death touch guy will also have trample. That's kind of a fun interaction. Uh... You know, get lots of stuff, Crater Hoof, do that. Yeah, pretty basic. Other than that, I'm awesome. All right, it's <laughs> awesome to be here. Uh, uh, and I really want uh, to have a good game, everybody, and it's I'm excited. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really scared of big green creatures because this deck does not have a very high toughness value. 
Oh no, you see, you see. So I'm just like. Oh. No, this is like cooking meat. It's slow and low. <laughs> <laughs> and Ron, welcome back. What is happening? Robert, Hi, I don't want to be the only dick without a transition. So even though my office is a mess, let's see. Oh, snap! What is up? Oh, I did it. You're so fancy, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, bitches! <laughs> I was really hoping that I was like, oh, I'm crossing my fingers for this one. I'm not sure, but... Um, Hello, everyone. I'm a girl named Ron. Everywhere usernames exist. Um, I am going to drop my link tree in the chat so everything is convenient for you. But I stream EDH unboxings. I uh, talk about shows I've been to and cons. I try to host panels whenever I can. And I'm starting a new podcast that I've already started recording for. And I'm hoping to release after MagicCon Philly. Um, I will be at MagicCon Philly. So if you see my big dumb bright head there, please stop me and say hello. Look low. I'm smaller than people think I am. Look low. Um, yeah. <laughs> look low. Uh, <laughs> look low, remember- but don't look down. I, I feel like every time I meet somebody, they're like, oh, you're so small. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've always been this tall. Like, I have to stop growing in, like, seventh grade. And then um, they're like, oh, but your personality is, like, seven feet tall. And I'm like, yeah, that's about all. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm very small. So, uh, yeah, today I'm playing a relatively new deck. I've played it a couple times now. Um but not enough that I can see everything it does. Uh, and it is Selesnia Captain Sisse. Um, it is a Super Friends deck. It is a Johnny themed um, with a little sprinkling of Garrick. And um, what it does is Captain Sisse herself tutors for legendaries. There's mostly legendaries. And of course, Planeswalkers are legendary in the deck. Um, I can tutor for them. I hope to... Uh, Utilize the Planeswalker's abilities to make my creatures greater and keep my life total healthy and um, and swing big and block big. So it should be interesting. <laughs> There's a lot okay. of different strategies going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashton, I did want to ask. Yeah. How did you get that play mat already? I got it in the mail today. <laughs> <laughs> Yours came in the mail. Yeah. Oh, this is the Mine different didn't one. Come in this is a different one, actually. Oh, okay, okay. The other side is Elish. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh gotcha. shit! I thought That's that was cool. the, uh, the Magic Thirty One you got with the bundle. No, no, this was a different one. <laughs> That's cool. That's, that's still um, very nice. I was like, I'm also magic. gonna mulligan. I do have three lands, which is nice, but uh, everything else in hand is like very costly, and it's like I'd like to play something before turn five. Shush you, Mr. Bevers. Mr. Bevers is here. <laughs> Bevers! Hi, Bio. Thank oh. you for the bits. We've had some reactions already. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't stare you down, Mr. B. Why are my redemptions not showing up on here? Don't, Don't you love when that happens? Scry a draw in our rampant growth. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Faded. Thank you for this. <laughs> So, everybody will, when we start the game, we'll go to the first upkeep, do the draw, and then the first main phase, will everybody will scry one, then we'll draw a guard, and then we will ram and grow it. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. Why am I always so much lower? Oh, no. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I'm in an ad, goddammit. <laughs> you know, Ron, if you're getting ads, you should consider subscribing. I know. I would. I wish I could subscribe to everybody, but I'm a broke-ass bitch. <laughs> I'm really yeah, trying to that. save money. My, You know what it is? Is I'm not trying to save money because I can't afford to. I have to pay my bills. And, like, my... Yeah. I, I've gotten... So, my credit cards have gotten so out of hand that I'm really trying not to use them. And pay them down. And I have had to pass up on, like, so much good merch and, like, so much good purchases. And all my friends put out good merch that I want to buy. And I can't because I'm, like, on this 
personal spending ban. I'm allowing myself to buy a couple things at MagicCon because I have been really good and I haven't spent. But, um, yeah, your girl's in rough shape right now. <laughs> so, I'm like, $5! Good luck! That's a lot of money, you know? That's a pack of cards. You know, <laughs> speaking of merch, uh, we finally got a merch store up. Ooh. I think there's an echo. Yeah. Now is there an echo? Why can I not win? Here. Forgot to put my link in, so I just did that. Me yes. yes. Same. Yep, still an echo. You have your spell table on by accident. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, I'm going to keep this. This isn't the, mace, the most Megan, amazing, but I'm keeping check it. Check these out. She would not be happy. They're, they're not on Infinite I, Tokens. I, I love these. Oh, no. I've, oh, because Infinite Tokens wipe off. I've seen them grill Proxy Lab about that quite a bit. Infinite Tokens wipe off. I wanted to keep these forever, so I put them on the back of <laughs> okay. Actually, um, you know what's funny is... If you know how, like, on a dry erase board, if you don't wipe it off, it like will harden mm. until yeah. like you until you like wash it off. Mm. Um, so I purposely did that with a couple of my tokens. So I um, when I was on tabletop jocks, the last episode that I was on, actually the the last one release, um, I lent people my infinite tokens on that episode and um joe johnson drew this uh, uh yes character <laughs> and he like named him and the whole episode this it character's is. story evolved so <laughs> this is lemon the jenkins third. he's a good <laughs> alabaman he plays the trumpet and a jazz band he has 17 kids so and then like the kid's name was like like Leroy Johnson or something, and then it was like, why is he not Jenkins? And then like, there's a whole story for that. So I was like, I'm never erasing this, and I'm taking it home. And then there's another one that he's drawn. I don't remember when, but like, there are, these two are like siblings or relatives or something. And I was like, I'm keeping these forever, and I'm never erasing them. So um, he thought I wasn't. I wasn't like joking and he's like you're you're kidding and then like <laughs> after all that i recorded that episode in august and it just released so i just showed him i'm like no look i still have them they're alive and well <laughs> and they're just like sitting here thriving and i won't erase them because they're like my memento from that weekend <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> All the 17 kids. Oh, I get to go first? Oh, wow. Is that easy? Uh, but isn't there a whole bunch of redemptions we need to do? Okay. So, untap, upkeep, draw, first main phase. Okay, I'll scry. Scry one, you say? Wait, did we draw first and then scry? <clears throat> yeah, they redeemed it as a scry, draw, rampant growth, okay, then another scry. Draw. Okay, and we'll draw. put it on. Out on the battlefield, tapped right. And we draw. Okay. Kind of get hosed with that, huh? Ooh, even even's out for a run because it's last place, right? And the last place is not a good position sometimes. Oh, we're again. doing rampant rampant growth again. I'll leave that right there. Uh, uh, wait, two rampant growths. Okay. It goes. And then, there was, and then they redeemed another scry. And I already took my two. It goes to hand or. And to play tech. Okay. I will tap this. Tap this force and I'll put a, a wild growth on it. Seems kind of good, right? Seems pretty good. And Did uh, we do the after... second scry yet? Uh, we have not, but we can. I did. Yes. I oh, <laughs> yeah, he's just leading us off. <laughs> I'm still, yeah, I'm still um, shuffling from the rampant group. Just... It is okay. When we're all ready, it will be Danny's turn. We're going to scrap it to the bottom. <laughs> awesome. I'll untap. And I'll draw. Hmm. 
I'm and gonna... I will put mm. down a morphic pool so if I have two or more opponents. Yeah, I'll put it at the bottom. And for a red and a blue, I'm gonna play Joyra, Ageless Innovator. If I can tap her, put two ingenuity counters on her. And then I can put a, an artifact with mana value X or less from a hand to the battlefield where X is the number of ingenuity counters on her. Okay. So it's... And I'll pass. Interesting. With seven cards in hand. I shall draw for turn. I shall play a... I love Good Afternoon's story about their 4-4 named Abercrombie. That's perfect. I love him. Good Afternoon is uh, he's one of my good friends. He's uh, he's he's well, he's someone from my in person play group. Whenever um, I'm on some, whenever I'm on a stream, I'm like, "Hey, I'm on this stream, you want to come hang out?" <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna play Jury Master of the Review. Whenever you sacrifice Ooh. a permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on Jury Master of the Review. When Jury dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. And then I shall come on, her. Jury. He's the bestest. All right. I'm going to play Planes, and I'm going to tap two for Ajani's Pride Mate. Whenever you gain life, you may put a 1-1 counter on Ajani's Pride Mate. Excellent. It's a 2-2 two -two kitty. I will pass the turn. Pass it, kitty. Oh, wow, so much mana already. I know. <laughs> We all had to turn one play. I mean, might as well one, two, three, four. Uh, do a beastmaster. Start it off right. <laughs> Second and, uh, turn, beastmaster is not too bad. Right. Yeah. Uh, past turn. <laughs> okay, we will untap. Up Chaos. And draw. What we live for. Indeed. Okay. Um. We will <laughs> oh, Doug. put down a Shattered Sanctum, since I have two or more around, other lands that will come in untapped. And we'll tap three for a Chromatic Lantern. <clears throat> and we'll pass turn. Okie dokie. I will untap. I will draw. And then I shall play this storm, storm carved coast, which will come into play not tapped. And Feels right. Yeah, I like it. It's not bad. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's a good feeling. <laughs> I'm gonna play Judith the Scourge Diva, Human Shaman two two. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero, and whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Judith the Scourge Diva deals one damage to any target. And how big is Joyra? Oh, she's a 2-3. Oh. She's a 2-3. Oh, that's gross. Um, Beast Man. Oh, everybody's... Everybody's got big... Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to attack into that. Okay, I'll pass my turn. <laughs> all right. Do all my thinking out loud. <laughs> well, when things start dying, that's a lot of damage Danny's going to take anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will... Play a planes, and I will pass. Everything is either just too expensive or stuff not worth playing at the moment. I will pass. That's all I got. Really hiding a sword in there. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually prefer Path to Exile over Swords. I don't like giving people things. I would like, rather give someone life than lands. It's one land. Like, if I kill, like, a creature that's big, they're gaining so much life. I mm -hmm. And, it, like, if it's later game, they, one basic land is probably not gonna, you know, some but people you know don't even have that many. Life totals? Ooh. Your commanders. <laughs> <clears throat> that's true, but not everything deals commander damage. Like, not right. every commander is meant to deal commander damage. Like, Sis, right, yeah. Sis I, won't, I, re I rarely swing with because I want her tap ability. Yeah, you know? it's all situational. For sure. One, two, three. Uh, I'm just going to cast this 
this little champion of them. Oh, there's nothing to worry about there. <laughs> yeah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> nothing to worry about. Uh, with that, I think I'm, I think I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> on your end step, I'm going to tap Joyra and put two ingenuity counters on her. Hmm. I will so opt smart, not to put anything into play. <laughs> and I'll untap. Eve draw. Let's do. Um. A planes for turn. Megan, I played, uh, I have two episodes of, of Tabletop Jocks out. I did play Group Hug, uh, on one of them, um, and the Wayne. other one I played Lulu Far Traveler. Yeah. I did play Quain. On yes. I did. Wayne. I got into, like, a YouTube chat, like, a YouTube comments fight with somebody in the, <laughs> in the comments, um, about it. <clears throat> I had to block three, them. One, two, three, four, silence. Silas. <laughs> I'll bring up real Silas for everybody. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> uh, what? It's, a, it's, a, it's an not exact... Not that yours isn't the real one. Exactly. You can't even tell the it's difference. Not... <clears throat> what I proxy? Can't even tell the difference. They're, <laughs> they're identical. It's pretty great. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna pass turn. Okay, dokey. Untap. Draw for turn. Oh, but the purpose of that deck, Megan, is to give people things. Like that's the the whole point is. But also the the story behind that deck is that um, Ricky Thomas, uh, you know the Ricky Thomas on uh, on Twitter, he um said jokingly that all my decks are gross they're not um but he said they're jokingly not. yeah they're not they're n not all of them are that threatening or that tough like really i swear and um he was like all your decks are gross they're all disgusting blah 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 and i was like just for you i'm gonna build like the friendliest huggiest deck it's gonna be ridiculous like i'm not even gonna attack with it i'm not even gonna have removal in it because that's not nice you know like i i literally have zero removal in the deck i have only like pillow fording and it only wins by alt win con and there's like 12 or 13 alt win cons in it and um it either like accidentally draws people out i don't like have tutors or seek to run the me mechanism it's just like you know <clears throat> if it happens it happens basically but it's always always fun to play against so i'm really happy that he inspired me to build that and i built it out of spite just to show him that like not all of them are gross that I can build a nice deck. Um, so it is purposely designed to overly give people favors. But in a normal game, I do not like giving people things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this Phyrexian Tower for the turn. And then I'm going to tap one, two, and three. I'm going to play an Ophiomancer. Um, at the beginning mm. of each upkeep, if you control no snakes, create a 1-1 one, one snake creature token with death touch. And then I shall pass my turn, and I shall create a snake. Snake! Snakey snake. I will draw. I got spoiled by all those gifts that people were giving us in the beginning. I'm like, uh, there's nothing. <laughs> no extra draws. Down. <laughs> no, nothing. All right, I'm gonna tap four, and I will cast to say, and that's all I'll do right now, because I have no mana. So pass. <laughs> 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 uh, um, Amara. Yes. Doug, Doug. Doug's bugging for a treat. Can I give him a treat? Oh yeah, give Doug treats. Oh, okay. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Precious. Amara, you're such an artist, and I love it. 
<laughs> my silly snake. It's so good. I was, to draw, I was trying to draw Ka from <laughs> Jungle Book. <laughs> Aww. With the, with the, like, hypnotic eyes? Yeah. I have uh, this giant, like, six-foot Ka stuffed animal that I got from Euro Disney, like, when I was a kid. Uh, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a puppet and a Ta. You can put your hand on the one end and you can put the other I hand on the other end. I love that. It's great. <laughs> I'm going to tap these four for my commander. Megan redeemed the draw card. Cast, cast the creature because it was a creature on this deck, right? Do we just do it now? Yep. Draw one? Draw one, oh, everybody. Oh, boy. Thank you, whoever let that. I missed it. It was oh. Megan. Oh. Megan. Megan. Well, bop to bop. Boopity bop. Draw a card. Oh, they get two counters here. Well... Is Nylea a creature when she enters? But it was a creature on the stack, and it was when you cast the creature. Not from the champion. Oh, it's ETB. Okay, I only get one. You're right. Good call. Oh, I mean, if she's a creature when she enters, then she'll be a... Oh, she is, counter. actually. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, perfect. Oh, uh -huh, even better. Uh, I like not it. Not good for us, but... Above, above. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I got a discard cards. Uh, <laughs> what a tragedy. I know. <laughs> Not great. Can I, I redeem know. like 4,000 channel points for like no max hand size? Shit, I'm going to get rid of the ambush. Oh, wait. That is what Danny could have do. attacked. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> that was <the> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Four does not have any good attacks, so I will, I will not attack. So many good cards, oh my gosh. Uh, are you moving to your end step? Uh, yeah, I'm doing my cleanup, actually. So okay, one, two, I, I, have, I have effects on your end step. Instead of Finn the Finger. Okay. <laughs> Gross. I would like to activate Joy Run, put two more Ingenuity counters on her. It's another smart thing to do. <laughs> Unintended. <laughs> and I'm going to put in... These uh, this manifold key. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's not going to be dangerous at all, is it? No. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> it's like I wouldn't worry about my champion, right? Oh, I would. I can make your champion. I can make your creatures unblockable if they already aren't. We are the champions. Don't uh, so are you done? I am done, yes. Right, I will. No um, manifold key. I didn't think about that you could use it on other people's creatures. A target creature can't be yeah. this one draw. Yeah. Great. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's put down... Try this fire tonight. What do we do? This... We're going to put that in a swamp. It's our lamp. And. I mean, I don't really have any reasonable attacks right now, so I'm just going to pass turn. Okie dokie. Let me see here. Let me untap real quick. Always found it. Oh, you know what? At the end of your turn, reason. I'm going to uh, actually tap this Phyrexian Tower and destroy the snake and make two black mana. <laughs> Why not? And and then I'm gonna put this on, and then I'm gonna ping Danny. <laughs> oh, oh, why? <laughs> just so you know your role and your place. Just oh, I know <laughs> my place, bitch. <laughs> she said, "Bitch." That is exactly Ugh. what I said. I'm gonna put out a <laughs> snake with death touch during my upkeep. I will draw for turn. I shall move all this stuff over. Play this Temple of Epiphany and scry one. <laughs> Mr. Bevy. <clears throat> um, hmm. You know what? We'll just keep that on top. I don't get to play that very often. Hmm. What is going on here? This is out. I don't know what to do about you, Robert, and your all your crazy, crazy creatures you got going on over there right now. Hey, what the f 
did I do? There's a lot of crazy creatures over there right now. <laughs> or at least, uh, Champion of Lambhold. Robert, what good is trample if your creatures are unblockable? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Just in case. I'm going to tap one, and I'm going to play Ashnod Flesh Mechanist. Um, oh, no. It has Death Touch. It's a 1-1, one, one, and whenever Ashnod Flesh Mechanist attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, create a tap Power Stone token. And then I can pay five colorless and exile a creature card from my graveyard and create a tap 3-3 three, three colorless zombie artifact creature token. Mars trying to point at me, but look at all that aristocratic stuff. That's I know, there's there. a bunch of bullshit going on. There's like synergistic <laughs> rounds of creatures yeah. right there. Yeah, that's pretty. There's some gross stuff going on over here. <laughs> Pay no mind to Doug my nonsense. what you're up to. I see you, Doug. <laughs> Don't give away my secrets. How many? One, two, three, four, five, I think. I am just gonna, you know what? Pass my turn. I got a nice little system going on over here, so... I find that suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Just playing this, uh, Guy's Cradle as my land for turn. Um, I'm gonna tap to say just casual. Um, oh, cradle, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna tap to say to search for a legendary. Don't really be. know what that's gonna be, but we'll see. Um, I think my go to guy to start with has been Garrick, and I'll tell you why. In a second. Yeah, which Garrick? <laughs> um, it's always draw cards of mana or untap lands or something. Yeah, untap lands, Garrick. Yeah. He's. Yeah, untapping that cradle good seems end. fun. Yeah. Right? That's what I thought. Where the fuck are you, Garrick? <laughs> well, there's one, but it's not the one. Wow, good thing I didn't wait to just draw him because he's like <laughs> on the way at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom, yeah. He was the third from the bottom. Fucking bitch. Nice. All right, so Garrick is uh, going to hand. I will. Souffle. Souffle, don't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> Underrated film. <laughs> I will tap the cradle for two, tap two additional to play Garrick. I'm going to where's my dice? Alright. I'm gonna up him a loyalty counter to four to untap two lands. And then I will one, two, three, four for Ajani, adversary of tyrants. And I will uptick him to five and put a plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. I only have two. So I'll put a counter on the pride meat and a counter on Sise. Um and I will pass the turn leaving up a blocker. Interesting. Untap. And I have exactly seven cards in hand. Which boggles my mind. I don't know how I accomplished that, but okay. go me. Draw. Oh, sweet. This is why you should put 37, 38 lands in your casuals deck. <laughs> Um, Spring Dweller, calm down about oh, it. No. 34 to 35 is my, my mid range. 37. <laughs> I always, for some reason, I always go 35, 36. I never go more than that unless, like, it's purposefully, like, it does something with lands. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, 
No. Bear Umbra. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> Do you go on the Nihilia since it's a creature right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> You're a monster. Um, there's a lot of problems going on on, on the lower half. On the lower half of the board. <laughs> what I can see. Um, but again... Danny, if we let him go, because he's sitting, I'm just going to do my yeah, going thing. Just, yeah. All that's like, mana. Just, Danny's just... like, nobody look over here. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm that's doing what anything. worries and me. When you're not doing no, anything, we... you're stacking it. You're, <laughs> exactly. you're setting it up. I'm sitting there. I'm like, Chat, who should I attack? Now? You decide. <laughs> I want to see what you feel. <laughs> No, we're Love gonna it. pick me. Even more chaos. <laughs> yes. Blood <laughs> tattoos. First one who puts it in, types it in. That's who it is. Yep, that's who. It is. There's gonna be um there a, a chat redemption added, and it's just gonna be like a thousand points. Attack Danny. You know, like just <laughs> <laughs> nobody else. Lightning and it's Danny. always gonna be Shot Danny. Attack Danny for the next three turns only. <laughs> no, nobody, huh? Well, I'll continue the joke, Danny. Take eight. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, I'll take eight. <laughs> that makes it easier for us later on. And then the you, and then you got defended. I instead. have <laughs> so I have really controversial views just based on like the chat. I have really controversial, not controversial really, but like unpopular rather unpopular opinions about um, cards or certain plays strengths. Um, like, I don't think a turn one soul ring is that threatening. Um, I mean, unless it's like, unless you're running like a colorless heavy deck, it's not doing that much benefit. Like, yes, it speeds things up, but it's not that threatening. Like, I would never remove, I would never waste removal on a soul ring. Oh, um, no, you know, I turn one. Ring, <laughs> I know people that do, and I'm like, that's silly. I mean, but if you want to waste your removal, go off, sis, you know? But I also don't think Dockside is that bad. Like, if I'm like, okay, make your treasures, have your fun, live your life, boo. Love you. You know, like, even when I'm playing my entirely colorless artifact deck, it's like, if you want to make fucking 30 treasures off me, cool, go off. Like, do it. Do your thing. <laughs> I don't think it's that cracked. Like, I think it's a good card, and I think it's totally fair. Like, the people talking about banning it, I think that's crazy. I don't, I don't think Dockside is worth banning. Um, but I know that those are two unpopular opinions that some people do not share. Yeah, That's fair. Know. We're all entitled to our opinions. Look, competitor, past turn. <laughs> Just yeah. Slide that in the play. <laughs> very sneaky. Uh, in response to the lurking predators, I, I knew that's it. something I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to counter it. I just, oh, okay. That's fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just want to do something in response so that way you don't get a trigger off of this. Okay, that's fine. Um, with my chromatic that. engine, I'm going to cap this with three blue. And we will improvise for one, two, three, and four for a weir of invention. Oh, yeah. See? See? I attacked the right person, chat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to get? Uh, does it resolve? It will. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it's going to resolve. I'm going to get uh, the encroaching mycosynth. Not. Yeah, see, he's setting up for something sneaky. Yeah. That is a combo card somewhere, somehow. Well, I don't play combos. I think combos are boring. Well, okay, so there's a difference between... In infinite combos and having having one card combo from another to another, right? That's a synergy. Yes, it's synergy. synergy. It's, it's a com <laughs> combo-tastic synergy, not an infinite, co infinite combo. So this comes into play. What I'm saying is you're still being sneaky, Danny. <laughs> I am still being sneaky because I'm not done. Uh, on your end, you're going to attack Joy, right? <laughs> she will have six ingenuity turn, turn, yeah, Look her. at all the game actions he's taking. I know. I'm going to put in a Sphinx of the Clear Skies, because it is an artifact thing to encroaching Michelsynth. A, a card that was very overlooked from Dominary United. Because did it you, says don't make cast something? Cast it no, I did not. I put it into play. 
<laughs> uh, Sphinx of the Second Skies, Flying War 2, Fly 5. Uh, whenever Sphinx of the Second Skies deals common damage to a player, reveal the top X cards of your library when X is a number of basic land types among lands you control. An opponent separates those cards into two piles, and well, it's a fact of fiction based on how many land types I have. Uh, and then I will untap. I think Queen would be very upset at me. I missed an opportunity to attack a planeswalker with an unblockable creature. <laughs> I'm not putting enough pressure on. I'm sorry, Queen, out there. <laughs> Queen, I will draw. Queen has just and heard you. It looks like we got two chat redemptions. Yes. Oh, get the draw card. Draw a card and then scry one. Cool. Good thing that's how much. Oh, I'll keep that there too. Cry. That's fine. Uh, I will leave that on top. There that's cool. I already knew what that was, but I think I need something else now. <laughs> <laughs> um. But cast. We're leave. going to put in a deserted beach as our land for turn. And we will um tap the chromatic lantern for one. Mm. See now, Robert, you're killing me. I don't want to cast any spells. <laughs> Do it, cast it, come on. I don't want to cast any of them. Uh, so I'm just going to go to combat. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, just one thing. Could it be a land on top? Anything it could be on. a land. Who knows? Why are you scared, honey? What am I scared of? <laughs> uh, some, 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 uh, 13, 13. Monster. Oh, bio redeemed one one counters. What does that mean? Oh, everybody gets to put a plus one plus one counter on any creature you choose. One creature. Oh, I'm gonna Ooh. put it on this champion of lambholes. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. I'll put it on Sase. Uh, I'll put it on. Oh my goodness, bio and a rampant Balls. growth. You know why? It's because I'm playing mono green, and he loves mono green just like this. So, I think I think that's what it is. Is it bio? It actually, helps. I'm gonna get an island. In the uh, get another swamp. Uh, I think no, I, I'll just, just um, even though I have a cradle, I'll. I think I'm gonna get a forest. Uh, yeah, we're going to combat. We're going to tap. Still didn't cast anything then. One, <laughs> two, three. No, I have not. <laughs> two, three. And we're going to activate the manifold key to make the Sphinx of the Clear Skies unblockable till end of turn. Oh, that's, okay. <laughs> I don't like that. I know where that's going now. <laughs> Uh, we will send the Sphinx of the Clear Skies at the Warlock. Yeah, I figured as much. Can I block with Doug? Uh, nope, unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> Me again, okay. That's five. I can deal with that. See, Danny's the problem. <laughs> Danny's always the problem. <laughs> so, on damage, I have four basic land- I have four land types, um, four basic land types, so I will reveal the top four- and then one of you will separate that into two piles for me. And I will choose one to put in my hand, the other into the graveyard. Oh, uh, let's see. First, let's see what we got. Key to the city, a swamp, the red sun twilight, and a their number is legion. This is the first run of my new deck. <laughs> it is new. It's brand new. <laughs> um, Amara, let's pick you. Oh, damn it. I hate making choices. Sorry, Ashnod, let's choose yes. you. <laughs> Ashnod, I choose you. Yeah, I was just going to do that. I was like, oh man, it's time for Ash Ketchum, boys. <sighs> uh, 
So the question is, do you have ways to bring that stuff back? Which most likely you do. <laughs> do I split them all up? Do you split them up or do I split them up? You split them. It's a fact or fiction. Oh, okay. So how about we give you a swamp mm -hmm. and the zenith or the twilight? Mm -hmm. And then the other two can go in the graveyard. Uh, uh, cool. Uh, so. Oh, wait, you can cast that from the graveyard. I should read the uh, whole entire card. Yeah, you can't have that. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> at least. You can't. You just gotta change it. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna switch this around. Yeah. Their okay. number is Legion can go to your hand, and then we'll put the Twilight in the graveyard. Well, you, you, you choose the piles, oh. and I think oh. which one I got to Oh, okay. <laughs> Very well. Then I will. Uh, that's gross either way. Yes. What kind of painful like? quandary, if you will? It really <laughs> is. Um, I guess their number is Legion, and the swamp can hang out together, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the other two can hang out together. Okay, yeah. I'll pick these two. And you right. can go to the bin. Hmm. Not great. I was a champion. Um, let's cry. Oh, thank yes. you, Mr. Bucky, for the sub. That's in it. That's cool. I'm gonna keep mine on top. Or gift sub to infinite tokens. Um, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will pass turn. Why do you always gotta be a problem, Danny? I'm gonna tap my Phyrexian tower and sacrifice the snake and put a plus one plus one counter on Jerry. A lot of game actions and still has mana up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put out a snake. Draw my card for turn. What us? <laughs> Danny, I could <laughs> I could slow you down. Let's Please see. do. <laughs> I might have to. Just, uh, just I don't want you to think that your deck is doing super awesome, <laughs> which it is. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's doing well, and uh, I decided not to keep that first hand that I showed you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna play the hand, the hand I kept was mostly lands. I'm gonna throw out a mana confluence, and mm -hmm. then let us uh, one. Two, three, four, and five. Tap five, and I'm gonna play a Vandal Blast Overloaded. <laughs> Bond. Why don't you do this? Oh, wait, well, you have a lurking it. predator. Hold on, I got a lurking predator thing. Uh, it's a nature's way. Um, mm, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna tattoo for a Boros Charm. I'm gonna look at this because it's gonna be fun. <sighs> land. All right, I'll put it at the bottom. Don't put 37 or 38 lands in your deck with board. lurking predators. <laughs> well, at least I got that out of his hand, I guess. <laughs> I would have wiped my whole board. I know, <laughs> which I felt terrible about, but I was like, eh, there's some bad stuff going on over there, and I don't... I, also, I can destroy the one reason, of things. <laughs> the reason I prefer this over Michael's Flatus because my lands are not artifacts. Yeah, that is. Yeah, you would lose all your lands, which would be, yep. that'd be great. Oh <laughs> god, that would be awful. That sucks. I wouldn't have thought about that. It would have happened, and then I would have been like, "Oh, well, that's that's how I learn, I guess." <laughs> yeah, and then I would have been out of the game. Uh, Danny, I am gonna come at you with this sneaky snake. It's a two, two one with that uh, touch. Two, I will declare no effects and take two. Success. Bio redeemed and everybody draws a card. Oh. Thank you, Thank Bio. You, Bio. Okay, that's a, that's a card. That would have been a good look at predators. Um, I think I will pass my turn. You didn't cast anything else, right? Uh, nope, nope, that was it. Oh, okay. I will untap everything messily. I'll draw my card for turn. I will play... Ugh. What do I want to play? Oh, too much, probably. Also, if this was a <sighs> Michaelson Flattis, everyone's stuff would have been gone. <laughs> except for yours, Amar. Except for yours, Ashnod. It would have been magnificent. 
I'm going... Oh God, okay, I'm going to play play this Maze of Ith as my land for turn. I'm going to play a Soul Ring. Don't worry, you're going to get a lot of shit off of me. I'm playing a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, God. Cult of Primal Hunger. <laughs> One, two... Yikes. Yeah. Three, four... No. Sorry, I should have used the planes, I think. All right. One, two, three, four... Five, six, and I will cast Warren Clex. Oh no. <laughs> the monstrous the, uh, one. Monstrous Raider, yeah. So if I would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, I put twice that many, and if an opponent would put one or more counters, they put half that many. Okay, thank you. Um, Jura puts two counters on herself. <laughs> yes. The, uh, the Primal Hunger did kinda oh no. So that was cast, right? Once cast. So this reveals this this resolve before your war and clex. So mm -hmm. I do get that. Um, I will plus. I will plus one Garrick for, to untap two lands, but because of war and clex, I will put two counters on him. Um, I will untap the cradle. And a planes, I think. Um, I will. Um, I have three creatures out, so I will tap four for a chain veil. Oh. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And I'll put, put on bottom. At the beginning of my end step, if I didn't activate a loyalty ability of a planeswalker this turn, I lose two life. I can pay four and tap it, and for each planeswalker I control, I can activate its loyalty abilities a second time. Um... I will then go ahead and uh, I'm going to need a, a different thing. I'm going to plus one the Ajani, which I haven't done. I have um, to that trigger. Yes. Tap the Birds of Paradise. You can gain four life, but I'm going to nature's claim that a chain bear. You're going to smart. Gonna, what? Sorry. I am Repeat. gonna nature's claim the chain veil because uh, and give you four life. Okay. Seems I seems don't... kinda good right now. Um What does it do? Can you it say that? It destroys target artifact or enchantment and you gain four life. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um all right. Uh, okay. It's fairly dangerous. Is okay. it? I've never used it. It's been in here this whole time. I've never used it. Is, um, it, is this gun a dangerous weapon? <laughs> I mean, really, I've never. It, it feels like it feels costly. It's four to activate every time. Yes, but and I mean, no. it wouldn't be worth it unless I had like a full board of planeswalkers, you know. Yeah, but and two. That's twice. I've got two. Yeah. That's two, um. That's four. So I'm going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to two target creatures. I will put, and because of Warren Clex, that is two counters. So I will go ahead and put, um, oh, whenever I gain life, I may put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Pride Mate, which I, you just gave me life, so I'll put two counters on it. Okay. Um, I'll put the counter on it from the Ajani, which will be two more counters. And I'll put the other two counters on Vorinclex um, himself. Um, Should have kept that fight card on top. <laughs> what? Uh, 
Uh, Amara, That's you're up for life. What's, what's yeah. your um? What's your blocking situation? You have death touch, right? I have a four four that if he dies, I can deal four damage anywhere. I have a also Judith who is currently a oh actually all my creatures are getting plus one plus zero, so this is actually a five four, a two two, and a three two, a two one with death touch, and then a, yeah. a snake. And, uh, Warlock, what's your blocking situation? I have a 12-12 trample, a 5-5, five, five, uh, and a 2-3. Already? It is. That's silly. Danny, what's your blocking situation? I have a 3-3 three, three with death touch and a 2-3. Why everybody gotta have death <laughs> touch, though? <laughs> um, I can't go with that Warlock touch. doesn't have death touch. Nobody's got a 12-12. I'm not losing my Vornclex to that. <laughs> I just want... I hate to have a, a hasty creature and not make use of it, but I'm going to pass and leave up blockers. Because there's just nowhere I can get into. So what's the point, you know? It's the muddled board for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I mean, I can attack with my indestructible. Um, is that... Test touch means nothing. Uh, Netherland. Seems kind of good. Uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, huh? What is a problem out there? Lots of problems. <laughs> Sisse can keep going. They have to cast from their hand. Aristocrats with the death touch is kind of... Cannot get through there. I didn't use Sisse because I'm at seven cards and I didn't want to have to discard anything. And I don't have open mana to, to cast anything. So, um, I didn't... I left her up. I did not, um, use her ability. Uh, one, two, three... Do the pop for a fourth for a, a Karametra's Accolade. Seems kind of good. That's gonna give uh, you some. Uh, it's gonna give you some mana. Just uh, 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 a little bit, yeah. Um. I'll do this. Ooh, build well the tracker. Get busy with the fighting. <laughs> don't get any of these counters because of foreign clicks. Okay. Well. Going to go to the combats. Going to swing as follows. Nylia is going to come at you, Amara. Okay. And the Beast Whisperer is going to go unblockable at that Ajani there. Um. Drop it down by two. Two? Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that doesn't matter. You'll still be able to ultimate. With... Ajani's a seven to ulti ultimate. He's at seven now. Yeah, and the Garuk is already over, and even two still lets him. So it is the Ajani I need. We'll yeah, but the Garrick, if the ultimate is just creatures you control get plus three plus three and trample until that's the end of turn. Something that's actually pretty pretty beastly. It's an overrun on things, so but I can't but, I can't do it. I mean it doesn't give me like a permanent thing. You know, it doesn't no, give me like an emblem or it's an end of turn I know. thing. I know. Um Yeah. But it doesn't matter, like if I hit the the Garuk, you can still do it. But yes. with a Johnny, if I hit it you can't, so it has to be a Johnny. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And, and I, I don't even know what it does. <laughs> At yeah. the beginning of your onset upgrade, 3, 1, 1, cat. Okay, gotcha. Um, alright, he will go to 5. I'm gonna tap my tower, sacrifice my snake, and then, actually, what am I doing for And I think, I think, just sorry, just before we even go past it. the champion score, it uh, should be unblockable against Danny, right? Who's coming at me? The champion. The other champion. Ah. 
<laughs> I'll just take it. Is that is five? It, yeah, it's is five. That eight? Okay. Unblockable. I'll go to 32. Right, I'll take five. Go to 32. Uh, and with that, we will pass the turn. Oh, I untap because I attack. So I have more mana. Uh -huh. <laughs> Forgot about that Baron. Uh, Nile is actually six, seven, eight. Yeah. Um, Take commander damage. Boop. Hmm. I'm going to do a green ward in of Marusa. <laughs> and I'm going to bring back the... The Kalini ambush, yes, he's smart. And with that, I will pass the turn. Uh, on your end step. Yeah, always. I just want to activate my Joyra. Just oh, want to tap activate. Joyra. We've ignored it for too long, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go to seven because of one clicks. I will put an artifact with mana value seven or less into play. It's going to be a Padim, Council of Innovation. <laughs> Draw a card, huh? <laughs> and that's it, then I'll untap. Upkeep. Uh, upkeep trigger, I believe. Does anybody have an artifact with mana value greater than five? Nope. Not me. So I, I will not. draw a card from the beam, and then I will draw for turn. Let's double the cards. Let's put this. And everything is an artifact besides those lands. <laughs> yeah, except these lands. Danny, you're always the problem. <laughs> Am I still the problem? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> you just wait till I draw my Vandal Blast. <laughs> oh, I won't have a response for that. <laughs> I cannot end anyway. um, I'm going to put in this swamp for turn. And... Um... He will... Draw some more cards. Why not? I see um, your familiar behind you, Danny. <laughs> you fucking around? You have a familiar there, yes. He's being sneaky. Yeah, you, you, he keeps bringing me his bird because he likes to play fetch. <laughs> Mine brings a little turtle. And he just leaves it at my feet. It's either his bird or... No, it's, oh, you, you left, left with it? Okay. There's a... He's like, oh, no, this time it's a real bird. <laughs> 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 Um, four mana, we're going to cast Bruce Taro. Yay. Uh, get a loyal guardian. Feels right. Mm -hmm. That's good. <clears throat> um, Bruce Taro is going to enter the battlefield. I will choose my Sphinx of the Clear Skies to give him double strike and lifelink on the turn. Have a good night, night Megan. Night, Megan. Um. Then. Uh, we will move to combat. We'll send the Saints of the Clear Skies at Ron. How much is that? It is a 5 5 flyer with double strike and lifelink. I'm gonna amaze a fifth that. Um, so and un two. untap it. War two. Oh, I can't do that then. I don't have open mana. Um. Damn, that counts. Untapping it, that counts as a spell yeah, against it. Me. That's stupid. Yes. I guess I'll take uh, 10. 
Cool. Uh, so I have two triggers when it deals damage. I have four land, four basic land types. We will do the first one. Uh, one. Oh, two, nice. Three and four. I can, like drawing cards every artifact. Yeah. yeah. I have to cast them for that, and you get more lurking predators triggers. Uh, <laughs> Robert, I'm going to pick you this time. Uh, what do what do these do? Let me click. So they have a Dalkin Archmage, uh, a Mountain, Black Sun's Twilight, and a Technomancer. Is that draw a card new? This one? No, the draw a card, Redemption. A Technomancer. Oh, another one. Itself. Yep, we have a draw a card. The Technomancer by itself and everything else by it on the other side. Okay. Got um... It. I think I'm going to. Let's do these three. Put the so... in the bin. We got a second Thank snake trigger. Right? Nope. We also three, have a rampant growth was just redeemed by Bio. Thank you, Bio. Oh I will <laughs> grab those after these. Results. Yeah, that's no problem. Oh, <laughs> um, Amar, I'll pick you this time. No, Ron, I'm going to pick you this time. I haven't picked you yet. What? Uh, separate these four cards into two piles, and then one I'll pick one to go to my hand, the other one goes to the graveyard. What? Four cards? Uh, Tennis, a Plains, Canoptic Wraith, and a Mirage Mockery. What do you want the most? I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you that. <laughs> oh, well then, I mean, then I'm gonna choose something Mirage shitty. Mirage Mockery is gross. Um... All right, you can have Kedis in the planes. So, so what? No, well, you separate them into piles, and I pick which pile goes to my hand. Oh, I got. I thought I picked what goes to your hand. No. All right. Um, then the planes and the mockery, and the other two, the Kedis and the other one together. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take these two. These two can go to the graveyard. And then what was it? It was a draw after the. Rampant? Uh, or draw, draw card first and then rampant. a rampant card. I did the, Yeah, I Either did. Way, okay. Yeah. Got it. See, this is that sneaky stuff you talked about at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Glad I swung at them first. Got to get your hits on Danny when you can. <laughs> okay, I played my land for turn. I have way too many points in my hand, and I have a maximum hand size. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're not one, used two, to that. Three, four, five, man, four. Because I wasn't planning on drawing this many cards in this deck. <laughs> um. Second main. So many cards. Um, five mana. Um, I think my playing hand's gonna move to my end step and discard some cards. Nice, you could play something on an end step. End step, probably mine. You are right before me. <laughs> oh, keep that. Keep me or. Six and seven. I'm discarding a Rensland's Twilight, a Key to the City, a Mountain, a Philippe Dalton Archmage, a Plains, and Jordan Weatherlight Captain. Okay. 
<laughs> All cards we've seen. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap my Phyrexian Tower, sacrifice my Sneak, and then mm -hmm. uh Danny, I'm gonna do one damage to you from oh, Judith. Yes. I will oh, take yeah. one and I will gain that ten. Going to thirty four. Oh, 33, tap. sorry. Create another snake. Draw a card. Play a past, Path of Ancestry, which will come into play tapped. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> stuff. There's lots of stuff going on. I'm going to tap two black, and three of whatever. I'm going to play a ghoul caller Gisa. Uh, Ooh, three, four. okay. And I can pay one black and tap and sacrifice another creature, create a, or create X2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. Oh boy. Yeah, nothing, nothing too scary. Nothing too shady. <laughs> um, I think we'll tap one and two and play this Mirror Retriever. When it dies, uh, I can return another target artifact card from my graveyard to my hand. And then... Hmm. What was that? <laughs> I Doug? What are you smoking Doug? up there? <laughs> It was Doug. Oh. <laughs> uh, the has shut off my counters, which makes me sad. I Sorry. You, I see you, Doug. I see you. It was less for you and more for me. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's not personal. <laughs> uh, let's see I don't know here. what's going on. I, I just blame Doug. I think I am going to actually send my snake over at a Johnny. That's just two damage. Two death touch damage over at a Johnny. Um, does that mean it dies? Oh, no, no, it won't die. It'll just do two damage um, if you don't block it. Is that all that's coming at me? Yep, it's <laughs> just a two one snake with death touch. Couldn't I maze it? Yeah, you could. <laughs> if you would like to. Yeah, because it's my turn next, so I don't need to save it if that's all that's coming at me. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about the busy. <laughs> oh, pass. It wouldn't have been available if uh, if Danny yeah. didn't have ward. Yeah, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I do have ward. I do also have hexproof. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, all that stuff has hexproof over there. Ugh. I'm feeling like I picked the wrong deck for this game. I... I thought that Warlock was playing the Janky Mermaid deck, after all. But I guess that's not what happened. And I don't know where the lines got crossed, but I was like, oh, I'll play this, because, like, it's kind of slow to get off the ground. And then I'm like, wait, this isn't the mer Mermaid deck. And now I'm... I fucked it. <laughs> now I'm in this game, and I'm like, yeah, I don't feel prepared for this. Um... All right, I'm going to tap two for an arcane signet. Better late than never. Uh, what? Lurking predators trigger. Oh, right. Thank yeah. You. Uh, uh, is it Genesis wave? Um, I'm going to keep it on top. <laughs> okay. And imagine why. <laughs> Danny, the um, player. Fix this problem. <laughs> Did you think this? <laughs> I, I didn't. So whenever I, when I first built the deck, I don't put a ton of interaction in it because I want to make sure that the deck does what it's supposed to do first. Then I start adding interaction. <laughs> so what you're saying is you have no way to get, stop these things. Nope, not in hand. <laughs> All right. There is a at least one counter spell in here, maybe two, but uh. This is. Three green, so one of it's going to be floating. Um, because I need two white. Oh, I know what I am going to put underneath. I'm going to cast Baird. 
steward mm -hmm. of Argive. Um, creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays one for each of the creatures. Put that on um, two. So there's one green floating. Um, I'll use the green two, three, four for a Johnny Gold main. Oh, nick those. I'm gonna put that underneath. Um. I'm going to I'm gonna use to say to fish for something and then that will determine which Garrick thing I want to do. So um That Johnny is pretty scary. <laughs> there it is. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna fish for uh Lazel. Put oh, that to yeah. hand. Um I'm probably gonna play her, so I'll say what she does when I do play her. Ugh, just gotta shuffle unsuccessfully i always can of worms shuffle you know where like it goes in my hand and then i'm like oh, and it that's, just that's how this you thing know? is <laughs> it's double sleeved and i'm like ah, it's too big <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> all right i'm going to now uh where's my little sack of circles i'm gonna fighting with their familiar over there <laughs> Can you see them in the background? Oh, yes. <laughs> the tail. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. Ah. I'm going to plus one Garrick, which will be two. And so that'll go to eight. Um, to untap two lands. So I'll untap the cradle and a plains. Um... I will... One, two, three, four. Oh man, this is gonna tap for four. So, all right, I'm gonna have two floating from that, and uh, one planes for Lazel. Um, I haven't activated these. Uh, if one you would put one, one, if you would put one or more counters on a creature or planeswalker you control, or on yourself, you may put that many plus one of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. Um, I'm going to... Ten poison counters on Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't have poison in this, but maybe I should. Uh, I will plus one this Ajani, which will, off of Vorinclex and Lazel, be an additional two. Right? Does or wait. Say twice? Okay. Sorry, does so, Bornclex say twice as much? Bornclex says twice as much. Oh, so oh. if I'm putting one from Maybe itself, four, right, one from Lazel, and then Bornclex will double it, so it'll be four. So okay. this Ajani will go up to nine. Um, but I'm only activating the loyalty once. So... But the loyalty is to put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to two creatures. Mm -hmm. So that will be So one, one equals four. Three. Yeah, so that'll be four on up to two creatures. So I will put four on Vornclex and uh, four on Baird. Um... And then I will 
choose to minus one the Sejani, which will plus one counter on each creature I control. And those wow. creatures gain vigilance until the end of turn. Wow, four counters. Um, so I will put, I'll minus three the Sejani, and then I will put four additional counters on every creature. That changes my plan drastically. Um, for I'll do the I'll do the math later. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'll just move. I have the fear. Four. Four. Four and four. That's a lot of counters. Um, I still have two floating from the cradle. Um, I love how, like, not two minutes ago, Ron was like, I think I brought the wrong deck to the table. I really do because it's, I don't think it's that impervious. Um, you have I'm a not, stacked board with I mean, vigilance I, at the for one turn, for not, it's not forever's. For Um. Like more stacked. All right. What's the blocking situation? I feel like I should go. I should just go. This one has summoning sickness. Everything else. Um. I have three three things that that can attack. Um. To say it's tapped and leads all has summoning sickness. Um. Didn't Baral come out this turn too? Baird. Yeah, that's right. Baird. Um. All right, uh, Warlock, what's your situation over there? I still have a 12 12, but I have a 5 4, a 1 4, another 4 4. Yeah, so I have a few things. <laughs> <clears throat> and nothing has Death Touch? Not yet, no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, okay, then in that case, I'm going to use one of the green floating from the Gaia's Cradle and a white to cast Oath of Ajani. When it enters the battlefield, I put a 1-1 oh, counter on each creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a 1-1 counter on each creature I control, which will be 4. And Planeswalkers, I cast, cost 1 less to cast. Kind of good. Yes. So, um... 4... 4... Four, four, and four. I was going to wait till I had more creatures, but I don't think that'll happen very soon, so might as well just use it. Um, okay. What's, what's the Hydra do now? Uh, whenever it deals da combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. <laughs> and it's cool. trample now. Yeah, gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna swing at you with uh, the Vornclex and the Pride Mate. Um, both are gonna go at Warlock. Um, th the Pride Mate is 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15. The Pride Mate is 15, 15. And Vorinclax is... Do have the tramples? Uh, Vorinclax has trample. Um, Vorinclax? Vorinclax himself has trample. The other one does not. Um, and they both have vigilance. Is Vorinclax a 2020? Yeah. yeah. Vorinclax is... Uh, 10, 16, yeah, 20. Warren Clux is a 20, 20. Hey, before we go to blockers, I'm going to tap these two. I'm going to heroic intervention. 
make everything indestructible and hexproof. Mm-hmm. And then Warren Clex is a 2020, you said? Correct. 2020. Uh, it's a beautiful, so beautiful Hydra, board. Omnivore, and Galta will block the Vorin clicks. Uh-huh. Uh, my Living World Tracker will block the Baird. Baird is not attacking. Oh, okay. Uh, just the Pride Mate. Only these two. So how big is the Pride Mate? Uh, how big was he? I don't remember. 15, I think? 5, Five. 6, 9, 10, 11, 15. 15, uh, 15, and uh, 20, 20. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I'll just put the Uvenwald in its way, and they won't die, but your Vorin clicks will. Um, I will Flawless Maneuver. What is that? Uh, if I control a commander, I may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Creatures I control gain indestructible until the end of turn. Very nice play. Nothing dies, nothing and happens. Just slap, <laughs> just slaps each other in the face. <laughs> We're just like this. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, the cat, the cat fight. <laughs> Um, that's all I got. I'll pass the turn, and I will replace these counters with circles that are easier to read. Yikes. Um, out of control, so, uh. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. Okay. So this has 14 counters on it. So one, two, three. We're going to Song of the Dryads, the Boring Clicks. Is now you have a forest land. <laughs> What is that? It is uh, Song of the Dryads. It is an enchantment or and I enchant your boring clicks, and it is a colorless forest land. Did, do you pay... You have to... Oh, no, that's not an attack, right? No. Um, your Baird's going next. I must, I must apologize. Well done. Damn, and that's not damage, right? Is an enchantment. Okay. Turns into a land. Um, I can't do anything about it, so I need a a token. Ugh, stuff is so crowded. Okay. Um, what kind of land is it? A forest. All right. He still has the counters on him. Yes. Yeah, so if it turns back into a creature uh, or something. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll play this Evolving Wilds. Oh, no, it doesn't come in tapped. I'll search for the, the forest that comes in tapped. I need card draws when I need. This thing's so has... huge now. Don't you have a Beast Whisperer? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I get Literally, you're, like, casting shit for free, and you have an entire board state chock full of shit. And it's like, I don't think you have to be as worried as you think you have to be. <laughs> like, you have tons of stuff, too. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm playing catch up. This has... I'd rather play mustard. Oh, yeah, no, this is too. That's pretty good. Mustard. Yuck. <laughs> Ron, I thought we were friends. I don't right, like so... mustard. We're gonna tell I don't like pickles either. That's why I don't eight, like pickles. Nine, ten. Good. Twelve. I like 13, sour 14, things. 16, 17, 18, oh, I 12. love sour. We're gonna tap yeah. Karametra's Accolade for 18 mana. Uh, Are you gonna finale? I recognize that, guys. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a Guardian project. Seems kind of good. Yeah, terrible. So that's four, so that's down to fourteen. Might as well take it down to uh eleven for three more. For a prowling serpapard, draw draw. Mm -hmm. Cat snake. Ooh. Banner ten. And now spells can now be countered. Yeah, uh, uh Lenoir Elves, uh draw draw. Uh we're going to green sun Zenith for uh, a crater of behemoth. Not the crater of behemoth! <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't have anything for that. No. No. Me either. 
Uh, Tony will enter and everything will get a plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's gonna get thirteen, thirteen. Uh, so hold on. So that was five, six, seven, eight, nine. So uh, down to one here. Uh, we'll do the one. Four more for a hero's bane. Draw, draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. That seems kind of good. Oh, but didn't tap that earlier. I was supposed to untap. Uh, yeah. So. Uh. Danny, how many blockers do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four on board. And one's got death touch? One has death touch, yes. I have four untapped creatures on my battlefield. But still, things have, have trample. Everything's got trample. I'm going to send the Hydra Omnivore at you, Danny. Mm -hmm. Same with the Nylia. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything was plus 13, 13, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, that came in. Let's turn. Uh, sure, why not? Just for fun, the crater hoop as well. So that's uh, 36 damage. Just in the pluses at any. So biggest one you got? Who, me? Yes. Um... The largest untapped creature that I have, toughness-wise, would be Padim. Power-wise, would be either Bruce Tarl or Silas. Oh, I'm looking for toughness, because even if the Death Touch gets through, this is going to get through. And then whatever yeah, gets Padim through... has four toughness. All right, perfect. That so is my can... largest untapped creature. Okay, just for fun, the bop is coming at you, too, in the air, just to make sure. <laughs> just to make sure. Just to make sure. Oh, at the beginning of combat, too, everything was supposed to get a 1 1 counter on it. So I'll just put mm -hmm. this one here, too, just to do the math. I wasn't supposed to think tonight with a mono green deck. Yeah, here that's I am. too much math over there. Yeah, this is starting to hurt. Um, while everything is like that and huge, I'm going to plus one and I'm going to tap it. And uh, the biggest, hugest uh, Nylia is going to. It's going to fight the Baird, so Baird can go away. Bye-bye. Um, I can still do that at instant speed, right? I guess. Huh? Uh, the overall tracker, yeah. Yeah, and the Galta is going to go at, at, at you, Amara. Okay, do And as well as the... Now, these two, how many do you have? You have three creatures here. Ron. Yeah, you know what? These three are going to go at Ron, and I think I can I can do stompies on Amaro when done. Yeah, I have 14 toughness, so whatever you need. All right, do. I'm going to tap the Arcane Signet, and since you're, since you're going for the Baird anyway, I'm going to Gideon Sacrifice and choose a creature or Planeswalker you control, and all damage that would be dealt this turn to you and permanents you control instead is dealt to that permanent. So I'm going to deal it all to the Baird, so only the Baird goes. Well, no, he's fighting the Baird with his Ufen Wall track. It is. It's a fight. Oh. Uh, so that way it'll die before... Yeah, before we even get the damage. Oh. I mean, I'm just going to... Um, to be honest, like, I hate to... I, I hate to make a feel like a salty move, but I, I'm I'm not I'm gonna scoop because I don't ha I'm not equipped to deal with this board, so I'd I'd really rather just die. <laughs> like honestly, at this point, I, I don't have responses. Anyway, the Hydra, the yeah, yeah, I don't have responses, do so I'm just gonna. Else, and I think I killed everybody. Yeah. Oh the well, then that's good. Me? Yeah, these four are coming. These ones are coming at you. Okay. Oh, and when I untap, oh, yeah, when I tap, omnivores everything is hitting us as well. So. Yeah, uh, for plus 13 and 8 plus 13 is 21 just from it itself, so. Alright, well. Okay. 
Okay. There was that. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I can't do shit. Um, my green deck did, did what it's supposed to. <laughs> Stumpy stomp. I'm going to respond. Um, let's do. Let's. Start by tapping five, and we're going to cast the Black Sun Twilight. Does that one do again? Uh, uh, up to one target creature gets minus X minus X on the turn. Right, uh, if X is five or more, I can reanimate a creature with mana value five, X or less onto the battlefield tapped. Oh, okay. Neat. Um, actually, let's do that. Oh, we're just gonna do that instant three. speed too, which is it is an instant. Yeah, I did not so we're we're, that. we're gonna give the omnivore minus three minus three. Okay, so it's it's actually twenty one minus three is eighteen. Uh, X was not five, so that will not let me bring something back. Um, then I'm going to tap the manifold key to untap my guys. And See, then I'm gonna... just in case, you always got to do it just in case. Just in case, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I you're not wrong. <laughs> I don't. I I don't have any just in case in here. I don't run board wipes or anything like that. So there's nothing like I. If I'm not just like swinging big, if I lose everything and and that much life, and I have no no board wipes, I've got nothing. Like there's no, no nothing for me to do. I'm gonna there's no just in case for me here. <laughs> Should we? I don't think just in case is saving Danny though. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what Danny's doing over here. I'm just watching. He's trying. Gonna see what happens. I'm trying. I'm gonna spit out an alley boo. Oh, I do love alley boo. Um, yeah, and then we're going to put the. I mean, you're taking thirteen in the air with the bop, right? Yep. So the the we've got the bop, the hoof, the omnivore. And they all have plus 13, plus 13. They sure does. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Oh, you have the Nylea. You have the Nylea, the Hoof, the Omnivore, and the Bop. All four. Yeah. There's four big bodies. Uh, so we'll put... Um, Alley Boo in front of... Omar, how much are you taking? Uh, 12 plus 13. Is twenty five. Uh, thirteen plus eighteen is that's okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then there's plus one, so everything is also plus one because it's the plus one counter for loyal guardian mm -hmm. to save time. And Every, I actually might not be able to block them because of the champion level. Yes, well, no, they're correct. Their power. Oh yeah, because it's. Oh, then power, yeah. So there's can't nothing block. I can. I can't yeah. block anything anyway. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> yeah champion. Just, <laughs> just champion right. stops the blocks. Yep. Yeah. My bad. Then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I forgot about one. the champion. Arno Green. It. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, big creatures in this deck. Like, Death Touch is how I stop big creatures, and that's the only way I have to stop them. <laughs> this is, this is like the fourth time I've played this deck, and I've always had all my lands. And... Good this, game. It's just green dumb stuff. <laughs> it, yeah, green, green gets gross very fast. It can basically almost do almost everything. <laughs> green, uh, there's like one thing green can do. Best. And that is play cards from the bottom of this library. <laughs> Damn it, don't give him ideas. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> the one thing it cannot do. It cannot play cards from the bottom of its library, but it can do everything else. Well, I think we're just going to play the one game tonight, just because it is late. And yeah, it's fair. Got lots of stuff to do, unfortunately. <laughs> it is... Uh... Over here on the East Coast, it is 12 or 15. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's rough. <laughs> it was a wonderful night, and I yes. enjoyed the game with everybody. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I had a good time. Thanks. Good times. Um, I'm going to let everybody do a little outro. I'm going to go see what's going on in the world and see if there's anybody to raid at this time of an hour. <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, sometimes there is. Um, Dread Warlock. Would you like to lead us off while I go search? 
Yeah, there's Searching. a bunch of people playing. Oh, yeah, yeah there Bear, is on. Yeah, Bear is on. He's still streaming? Yeah, I mean, let me look just to double check. But... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, he was he's playing. live, so. Bear's been on a while, yeah. He sure has. There's uh, the Mystic Remoras are on. Oh, it's a stream oh. ending. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, okay, so he's right. Um, but Astral's is on, probably playing uh, Arena, though. Um, Nano Jade. Um, oh, Amara streaming. <laughs> what? M M I always do that. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I'm like, ooh, it's me. I'm like, wait a second. I can't go. That's, that uh, defeats the whole purpose. Quinn plays with MTG Lexicon. I don't know if she's playing tonight, but they're on. Uh -huh. No, I think they're drafting right now. Oh, they're God. drafting all Obi Wan. Usually the Fridays are their D and D, but it says magic, so they usually do DH. drafting. Cool. Do that out of their studio, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think anyone's streaming Commander right now. No, that's, not, that's the way it's looking. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll kick it off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, it was very fun playing with. To you again, thank you, Amara. Oh, uh, yes. Doug is very happy. Uh, he likes coming here. And one day you'll get to hug, to hug him very soon. Uh, very that excited. we do know. Sorry, cough. Um, but yes, uh, I am the Dread Warlock Robert, and we do story driven eat where every, every game there's a little story about our history, yes, uh, on this plane. Uh, where we've been on a plane for about six months, so. Uh, there's things you can catch up on, and our goal is to hit 300 subscribers on what you call your YourTubes. Um, so if you could give us a follow there uh, and watch everything, that would be that would be really great. Uh, Doug would be really happy, uh, and so would the producer. And that's that's really it. Other than thank you, and and yes. everybody have a great night. Oh yes, thank you for joining us, both of you. I appreciate it. <laughs> No, Always a no. blast to play with you, buddy. <laughs> and Danny, what's happening? Hi, everybody. Uh, so I'm Danny, and my buddy and I run a podcast called Dad Jokes and Cardboard. Um, we will, I will be in Philly. Uh, my co-host will not be joining me, but I will be in Philly. And I will be probably wearing either my Magikarp hat or my Gyarados hat. Um, and I will also be walking around with a sign that says, Free Hugs with Consent. We'll keep an eye for that. Uh, uh, you're, I feel bad for you. You're going to get so many hugs. <laughs> you're going to have to deal with me. <laughs> you're going to get all the germs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing I ate so much garbage as a child. So my immunity. Yeah. Is you're strong. like. <laughs> that's what, that's I, what I, say. I say. I say like my stomach is lined with asbestos because I was raised on White Castle and it like does nothing to me. I'm not affected <laughs> at all. <laughs> I like the worst foods. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me immortal, I think. That's why I don't get sick <laughs> very often. I just, I just eat things off the floor. I would eat mud, dirt, <laughs> whatever's around, you know. <laughs> you and me both, sister. Keep keep just nice and strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Rod, what's happening? What do you got Hello. going on? Uh, look at me. Hold on. Ha! Here it goes. There we go. <laughs> What is up? <laughs> I no, I don't get enough of that. Um, <laughs> hello everyone. I'm gonna drop my links in the chat. Um, I'm a girl named Ron, and you can find me everywhere that has a username with a girl named Ron. But for your Are convenience, you um, I was at one point, but it wouldn't have been a girl named Ron. I don't even think I remember my login at this point. It was probably something corny like. Baby girl, thirty five or some shit like that. Forget about the X's. <laughs> Hash like the it, it wasn't even a, a hashtag then. It was a pound sign. You know? Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, uh, all my links are in the chat for your convenience because I'm a giver, baby. Um, and uh, don't don't uh, don't splice that sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> um. Too late. Oh, nuts. Sorry, the internet forever. <laughs> eggplant emoji, eggplant emoji. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I stream EDH. I uh, do unboxings, deck techs. Uh, I talk about con experiences. I run panels at cons. And I am recording for my new podcast, uh, the first episodes. It is available to subscribe now. There's a little preview soundbite um, on all platforms. But... Um, 
it will officially release its first episode uh, after Philly, probably like March 1st or early March. Um, the first guests on my podcast were uh, the professor from Tolarian Community College, Talia Bess, and MTG Nerd Girl. Um, and our topic was content creator safety and fan boundaries. Um, so if that's something that interests you, the podcast is called More Than Magic. That's Check a very it out. Good topic. Very cool. It Thank a you. Good topic. Very cool. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> And let's see, we are going to go over to Astral, because that is... Oh, I love Astral. Yeah. John is a good guy. Yeah, and I will be back on Sunday. I have to think about it at 1 o'clock, and then Super Bowl, and then after that, I'll be back. The superb <laughs> owl. Yeah. Um, Super Bowl. Astral's helped me learn how to play Arena. I didn't know dick about it, and Astral's was gracious enough to sit with me and, like show me all the functions and all the things and i did stream it for a bit and it's um it's a lot more complicated than it seems because there's a lot of different formats on arena and i didn't know that and there's a a, so much stuff like ins and outs that are not it's pretty user friendly but it's not self-explanatory so if he's streaming um arena which i'm pretty sure he is um it's definitely worth the watch to see those little nuances um because astral's is really good at it so Standard is his game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, he's very good I, at it. I follow him on there. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'm just going to see what these decks do that you do because my decks yeah. are not doing what they need to be doing. <laughs> mm-hmm. They have been on the, the Emporium before and they're very good dragon battler as well. Oh, yes. They love their dragons. <laughs> oh, let me click over here. We are creating a raid. And we are heading on out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And thank you, everybody, for joining me. And we will click this button. Boop. And then click this.